Hello friends, today's uh, recipe is uh, Kadal Curry which is a Kerala special dish so it is actually Chana Curry it is very simple to make and it is very delicious it goes really tastes well with uh, puttu, dosa and apple come let's make Kadal Curry in Kerala style for making Kadal Curry I'll take uh, I've taken a kadai and I put it on a stove for heat and I'll take in just one and a half tablespoons of oil let it heat now we'll add a half a teaspoon of uh, mustard once the crackling stops we'll add a finely chopped ginger half a teaspoon of ginger finely chopped Two green chili slit and a handful of fresh coconut are taken. I've made it into tiny pieces like this. We'll add this and we'll fry this till it turns brown. The coconut pieces and it gives really a yummy taste. Just turn a little brown. Now we'll add this one finely chopped onion and one string of curry leaves. And we'll give it shallow stir for one to two minutes and then the onion soft. Now we'll add uh, just quarter teaspoon of uh, turmeric. Now the onions have become brown. Now I'll add one finely chopped tomato. If you want more tamarind, uh, then you can add some tamarind also. Or little tamarind juice you can add. Here are some lime juice. If you just put it in tiny, it tastes really good. We'll add half a teaspoon of salt so that it becomes soft faster. Now the tomatoes and onions are soft, I'll add one teaspoon of uh, chili powder or according to taste, the spice you require and one heaped teaspoon of uh, cumin and uh, coriander powder, that is dhania jeera powder, give a stir for half a minute, let it cook, then we'll add chana. I have soaked one cup of uh, chana overnight and uh, removed that the water and uh, transfer it to a pressure cooker and added enough water and salt and cooked it for uh, 3 whistles or you can uh, once the pressure cooker attains steam just trim it and cook it for 5 minutes since this is 1 cup of boiled chana that I also cook overnight I with little salt has uh, cooked it now we will transfer this cooked chana along with water into this gravy that mixture onion and tomato mixture and add enough water to adjust the consistency of this gravy as I already added salt in this uh, chana so I am not going to add extra salt and we can adjust salt if you require now let it boil for 5 minutes so that uh, that masala can nicely penetrate into this chana we will allow it to cook for 5 minutes Yeah, it's nicely cooked now. Getting a good aroma. Yeah, now we can switch up the stove. Sprinkle some freshly chopped coriander leaves. And now it's ready to be served. 